where, you know, especially right now, one of the things we had to look at is there's that famous Gretzky quote, which is like, don't go where the puck is, go where the puck's going. And in business, it's the same thing. Like a lot of people, even whenever this, you know, crisis started to hit, kind of wanted to put their head in the sand and ostrich it and be like, everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine and ignore it. But those that had their head up and were kind of looking at the play and thinking about the way that the play is forming, it gives you an idea of looking into the future and going to where the open ice is and trying to go where the opportunity is so that by the time the situation has changed and everyone else is aware of it, you're already a step or two ahead. And ultimately, I think that's the kind of biggest advantage in um, you know being mindful of the impact of sports uh, as it relates to business. That's an awesome way to put that. Can you just give us a recap of your business model for people that are listening that are interested in learning more about what you do and what your company offers? Yeah, so we help, like I said, organizations, the way we phrase it is that have a passion or purpose beyond profit. So we kind of take like a, a Bruce Lee mentality to profit. Where Bruce Lee used to say, if you are just punching your target, uh, you know, you're not hitting it with your full force. If you punch through your target, you're really able to deliver kind of the maximum uh, velocity in that punch. We kind of consider it the same thing. If you're looking through profit into actual impact, the business metrics are going to naturally follow suit. And that's what we found with the organizations that we work with. And we help them use what we consider is their longest lever uh, to make an impact, which is the web presence. And so that comes back to website design, development, video and animation production, podcast production, uh, search engine optimization, and basically all the things that might touch your presence online and digitally uh, to help connect you with the audience that you want to help kind of shape and create a cumulative better world and uh, create a better impact for. I love how you've structured your business and how you're helping others. Uh, any last minute piece of advice for entrepreneurs out there or even uh, uh, dads of two daughters. <laughs> Love to hear more about that one. Oh, geez. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I guess the, the piece of advice for entrepreneurs right now, I mean, is definitely, you know, think about what the future of this looks like and how do you, you know, pivot without it crossing into that shiny object territory. Uh, I think that that's something that could be tricky to, to do. So really being mindful of where that you know, kind of juxtaposition is and where that border lies for you so you can continue to press forward. Um, and then the other component is think about the lessons that I think this enables us to learn. And my business was founded out of the kind of ashes of the last recession. So I didn't get a chance to see this through the whole way that we're seeing it now, but a lot of the lessons and the ways that we built our business were based on lessons learned through that, which was what kind of things can you do to keep cost more variable than fixed and to keep fixed costs low? What kind of things can you do to make sure that your team is really well aligned and all mutually incentivized um, both by, you know, purpose, but also by obviously, you know, we're all working. So there's compensation, there's, you know, time off, there's flexibility. There's a lot of things that people care about as it pertains to their work-life balance. And this gives you an opportunity to analyze some of those things and think about the best way to make them work for your business in the way that you want to generate an impact. That's great advice. Uh, Chris, thank you for taking the time to be on the show. If people want to uh, find you, where, where's the best place to get you at? I know you've got several social media handles out there. Yeah. So, I mean, the easiest one is just, you know, yokoco.com. So that's Y-O-K-O-C-O.com. Or if they want to find me uh, personally, just chrisyoko.com. And then um, we're at most uh, social platforms at Yoko Consulting or at Chris Yoko. Awesome. Thank you so much again for the time. Really appreciate the wisdom and what you're doing out there and uh, look forward to following your story along as you guys continue through uh, COVID and off into uh, whatever the future holds for us all. Oh, thanks, Jim. It was great to be on and I appreciate the time. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for listening to today's show. It is my pleasure and honor to interview all of the guests that have been on the Answer is Yes podcast. If you have enjoyed the show, Please go on iTunes and subscribe, give a rating, or simply tell a friend about the show. We also believe in the message of our guests and the positive influence of their stories. As my own mentor and coach, David Meltzer, has taught me, spend some time every day thinking and writing about the things in your own life that you have more than enough of. You will find out how blessed we really are. Please visit my website, livelifedriven.com, for the latest updates about me and what I'm doing. Plus, I post a monthly blog about the many topics on this show. This podcast can also be found there. As I learned early on in life, what you believe is what you will achieve. Thanks, Mark Victor Hansen.
And thank you and have a great week.